Hey y'all, and welcome to Skyrim Scripted. In this episode, we're going to make it always rainy in Skyrim. Now, there's probably a mod that does this. I don't really care. I want to learn how to do it, and uh, so do you, and that's why you're here. So let's figure out how to do it. Uh, basically, I boot up Skyrim all the time when I'm making mods, and I love it when it rains. I love it so much when it rains. I've got this warm tea, and uh, I'm setting my tea aside and letting it cool, and once we have rain in Skyrim, I'll drink my tea, and I'll just enjoy the sound of rain. So I have no idea how to do this. Let's figure out how to do this. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do was go to creationkit.com and see if there's just like a weather.set weather. I don't know. And there's two weather things. There's weather and there's weather. There's weather script and there's weather. Um, so weather object here, fine weather, get current weather, weather. Cool, all right, get current weather. This is a global function on weather. That's totally useful. Uh, so knowing that there's global functions on the weather script is cool. Uh, we want to know what the global functions are. All right, we can get the current weather. It's cool. Okay. Now once we have a weather, we can set the active weather to be this weather. So whether or not we're overriding and whatever this accelerate thing is. Well, that's cool. I guess. To force the weather to become fully transitioned immediately, use force active instead. Cool. If I want to jump into the game and have it be automatically rainy, that's probably what we want. Uh, my guess is that the game itself has some weather. So, like weather objects, because here's some stuff about weather objects. So, uh, let's go find them. How's that sound? I'm in Mod Organizer 2, and I'm going to make a new empty mod, and I'm going to call it always rainy in Skyrim. Cool. And I'll configure creation kit to save its files into always rainy in Skyrim and we'll run creation kit and you can run it however you want. You don't have to use mod organizer to. You do you. <laughs> you do you. I open up creation kit however you want to open up creation kit. And I'm just going to save a mod. Uh, let's look for weather. Uh, world data weather. Cool. Default weather is all that you get without loading up Skyrim. So let's load up Skyrim. Boop. This will take forever if you don't have the SSE creation kit fixes installed. But this should just take like five more seconds or something for us. Four, Mississippi three, Mississippi two, Mississippi one, Mississippi p -p 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 zero, Mississippi. All right, there it goes. Cool. Let's look at weather. Uh, world data weather. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, we just look for rain or something. Sometimes I want uh, thunderstorms and sometimes I don't. So it looks like there's a, there's a bunch of different overcast rain objects. And they've got form IDs, which is good. Okay, this is rain at dawn. Storm rain, that's cool. Let's see if we can get this from a script. Oh. Um, let's make a new player script so that we can get it on lo do it on lower games as well in case we uh, load a game it'll automatically change the weather. Let's make a quest. We'll call it Always Rainy and Skyrim Quest. Then we'll open it up. We'll go to uh, 
quest aliases, make a new player ref, call it player ref, that's R-E-F. Fill type specific reference, select force reference, sell any, and it should auto populate player ref or do it from that drop down. Cool. And now we want to attach a script. New script. Um, always rainy and sky and player script. That might be too long, but we'll find out. And this should extend a reference alias. Cool. I'm going to hit OK to close out of that. Hit OK to close out of this because I don't trust Creation Kit. And uh, I'm going to right click edit source on this thing and control S. Cool. Compilation succeeded. Uh, you can edit your code in this box, but I'm going to switch on over to Visual Studio Code. Be right back. Okay, here we are, and uh, here's my always rainy and Skyrim player script, and here it is. So let's put some stuff in it. Uh, let's make a function called uh, make it rain. Function make it rain, and function. And we'll call it whenever the player script is initialized the first time, and we'll also do it when the game loads. And I paused. There were leaf blowers outside for like half an hour. That was cool. So I cheated. I'm drinking my tea, but I'll drink it again when it rains. Here, let me just have one more sip, and then I won't drink it until it rains. Big sip. Big sip. All right. We're going to make it rain. And we'll call that when the player gets initialized and when the player loads the game. Event on in it. And event, event on player game. And in both of these scenarios, we'll make it rain. Make it rain. So what do we do? Um, let's get the weather from the creation kit. Let's say um, weather, stormy weather equals game.getForm. And then we're going to use the integer for whatever the form ID for this weather is. <laughs> no idea if this is going to work. Um, storm. Let's go to world data. Weather. Okay, Skyrim stormy weather is 8220. No, there's a C in front of that. C8220. C8220. Does these things have a preview? They don't. C8220. Cool. That's Skyrim Storm Rain, and it should give us a weather? Maybe? Uh, as weather. Uh, if we print this out, it'll either be none or it won't be none. I'm going to build. You can control S to compile in creation kit. I'm just doing my compilation thingy here. And I'm going to close CK because I'm using Mod Organizer 2 and I need to if I want to run uh, the game. Uh, but you don't have to do that. And uh, are we using any SKSE functions? Uh, not right now. We're, we're just doing get form. So I'll run it with SKSE when we need to. Let's go to Riverwood. Watch it be raining. Nope, it's not. Hmm. Oh my god, I can't believe how often I forget to turn on the mod that we just made. Turn it on. Come turn it on for it to work. Now if it rains, it's a complete coincidence. Cool, we got a weather object. That's good. This would be none. This would be empty. Uh, if we if the get form didn't work and if it wasn't also a weather type. So we got a weather. Woo! Let's make the current weather that weather. Um, uh, weather current weather equals weather dot get current weather. And then we'll just say current weather dot force active. Oh no, let's say stormy weather and force it active. Maybe, uh, 
I'm gonna let Sarah. We don't want to force it. Because that makes it switch right away. Yeah, we do. Because we want it to start the game raining. And you give this uh, an override Boolean. Yes. We'll definitely override. I'll call this, uh, I'll use the name of it. I hate just passing like true to a, a function. Um, it'd be sweet if this is it. Fastest mod in the whole wide world. It's the fastest mod. Now, do we need SKSE for any of those things? No, we don't. Not, not that it says. So I'll run the game without SKSE. I'll even turn it off. Now, if it rains, it could be a coincidence. Um, but then we'll, we'll quit and try again. It's raining. Some storms could be a coincidence. It's unlikely that it's a coincidence, especially because it's storming. Listen to this rain for a sec. Took us less than 10 minutes. So nice. Let me make it bigger for you. We'll just spend, we'll spend a moment. Enjoying it, and then uh, then we'll peace out. Sip my tea. Congratulations. Teeniest mod ever. Uh, I'm assuming there's one on Nexus. If there isn't, I guess we'll put it up. There has to be. Mm. I love that sound. Now, what I don't know, and I'll find out when I stop recording, is how loud the rain is and how much it. Um, uh, in, in interacts with uh, my um, ability to speak during the episode. So right now it's still raining even though we switched away. So how annoying is that during my episodes? I could turn this down about halfway down 11 decibels. Is that better? I don't know. Let me switch back to it. And then uh, ooh. That takes away the rainy deliciousness. I'm taking another sip of my tea. And I'm gonna make sure that there already is one on Nexus. Otherwise we'll We've still got three minutes left. Let's put this on Nexus. That is so nice. I love the thing. Alright, let me pause and make sure that there there isn't a mod out there already. There must be. I'm sure there is. There must 100% be. Found one. This looks a bit different. I think they actually put some work into it and like changed the weather. We're not gonna do that. That's a, that's a lot. Um, and let me make Skyrim open in a small box again. Um. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let's go like get all of those stormy and rainy weather types and just every five minutes or something in the game or every three minutes or something, just to be safe, we'll update the weather. How's that sound? And then we'll close this out with uh, a nice minute or so of uh, enjoying the weather. Ooh, let me make more tea. Okay, so let's do, um, uh, let's open up CK 
And then what we'll do is we will grab all of the different rainy weathers. Um, we should test them really quickly. And um, and what we'll do is um, every couple of minutes, we'll just pick a random one. And when the game starts, it'll start with a random one. How do we want to test them? I don't want to bloat this thing up with a spell. I mean, we'll delete it in a second. Um, we could have a spell called um, change weather. Spell new. Um, what do we call this team thing? Always rainy in Skyrim, right? Always rainy in Skyrim. So spell new always rainy in Skyrim spell called make it rain it's a fire and forget spell we make the effect don't let me forget to attach the effect to this to the spell it's kind of like conjuration you need to pick one of these Otherwise, it won't. Um, your your player won't be able to get it. So always rainy in Skyrim. It needs a name if you want to associate it with uh, something. It needs to have the same casting type. So fire and forget, and we'll we'll give it a a script. Always rainy in Skyrim effect script. Cool, cool, cool. Let's associate it with the spell. Otherwise, when you open up the magic menu, it will crash the game. It will CTD. Dope. Okay, now we've got a script that we can use. Uh, let's get all of the weather um, form IDs. What is FX magic? Magic. Uh, Magic storm rain. What's that? I mean, it's a weather and there's test cloudy rain. Let's just grab all these. Start at the top. Can you copy these? I don't think so. D4886. Eight twenty one F. Now, don't let me copy one that has um, snow. Ten A twenty three D. Ten A two thirty one. Ten A two thirty eight. These are probably all just like slightly different variations. Ten A. 242. Um, someone in the comments or something in the posts uh, can probably tell me what the difference is. C8220. Oh. 10A. 23C. 10A. 241. But that's it, except for the um, cloudy one. And none of these say snow, which is good. So here's all of our integers. So um, let's just do this. Deal. Cool, cool. All right, we got a bunch of them. We can say rainy weather. 
cool. Um, make it rain, we'll just grab one of those. Here's a 220, that should be um, from up there, and it is. So, let's comment this out. Um, so, make it rain, we'll grab a random one. We'll grab a random one. And so, um, what's on in it or on player load game? Um, put these puppies into an array. So, we'll actually have an int array of rainy weathers and it'll be a new I don't think you can do it like that you have to new it in a function so um, let's do a function called setup and it'll set rainy weathers equal to a new string array of size 10 Just call that one big rainy weathers. <laughs> Int. Duh. Uh, and then we're just going to do this rainy weathers zero equals rainy weather one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can I do this? how to increment there's a button that will do this for me cool and now we'll just select from that so when you make it rain what we'll do is we'll say um, weather rainy weather equals uh, rainy weather z and then we need a, a, a random index. So we'll say random weather index equals utility dot random int anywhere from zero to nine. I think that's inclusive. Yep, inclusive. So zero from zero to nine. Uh, you could do it as this way. You say rainy weathers dot length minus one. More accurate. Um, and then we'll say rainy or random weather index. So there's our rainy weather. And um, what we'll do is um, uh, that's the uh, rainy weather ID. And then we'll say weather rainy weather equals game get form rainy weather ID as weather and these should all be weathers because we know they are and then we'll just make this one active we'll say rainy weather force active um, now we could let them kind of blend into one another so what we could do is when the game starts uh, we'll make it rain like immediately but then after that, we'll let it just kind of shift and we won't do the force active, we'll do set active. Um, so here's what we want to do. Uh, whenever you start, if you like load the game or instantiate, uh, if you're loading the game, you probably already have this mod installed. So this only needs to get set up once probably. I'll, I'll do this for safety. And what we'll do is we'll set up, uh, we'll make it rain once, and we'll say force like a rain now equals two. So we'll have a boolean rain now equals uh, false by default. So we'll say. Uh, if you pass rain now, then we'll force it active uh, right now. Else, let's see, what does override do? Else, we can say rainy weather dot set active sets the active weather. What does accelerate do? 
Should make it go faster or something, like happen more quickly. If true, accelerate any existing transition when the call is made by a factor determined by the game setting. Um, cool. We'll do true true. To kind of accelerate it along, maybe. Well, we'll just set the override to true and we won't accelerate it. So in both cases, it's accelerated, but one just forces it now. And so what we'll do is when you set up, um, you can say function setup uh, rainy weather array. And it's rainy weathers. We'll do that. And then we'll go ahead and make it rain. Uh, but then we'll kick off our update. So we'll say uh, register for a single update. Uh, it's like a couple minutes. Um, if you wanted to see it spelled out really easily, you could say uh, minute equals 60. And then we could say every three times minute, every three minutes. Uh, and then what will happen is uh, the event on update will get called. And what we can do is we will also register here to be called again in three minutes. So 612, 180, we can just do 180. Or you can just register this forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Um, register for update, which is kind of recommend against this, except uh, this is a good scenario for it. So every three minutes, three minutes is really freaking often. Um, so it would be 240, 300 is five minutes. So it's two, every five minutes it'll run this. Um, you could do something like game days. So what we'll do is we'll make it rain. Uh, but we won't make it rain now necessarily. So it'll change. And now what we need to do is um, if we can get a reference to this from our spell, then we can call uh, make it rain. And we could even pass in a specific ID if you wanted to. Um, I, I want to try these. I kind of want to force this thing along. You know what I mean? Let's do this. We'll make it so that uh, when you cast the spell it'll change the rain so we'll go to the effect and we'll say uh, events on effect start and it takes an actor target but we don't care and an actor caster we don't care and events I uh, will get a uh, property which maps to this script um, the player script um, player script Auto, build, go into CK, which is running great, because then I can go to the effect that we have. Go to the properties of that script and bind that um, property. The player script will edit and we'll pick our quest which is uh, oh, it's uh, always and pick the player ref alias cool and now that gives us the script save great so now we can call make it rain um, so we'll do um, just player script dot make it rain so it'll it'll change it it'll pick a random one so let's go into game I kind of want to, let me debug notification. Uh, let's say it gives you the rainy weather that it does. Weather, uh, rainy weather equals um, set current weather 
two and rainy weather. So we'll go here and we'll make this actually return the weather for folks who want it. Return rainy weather. Build and we'll go in game. We'll close CK. And uh, still no SKSE required. These are just basic game functions. It should rain. Uh, it's not going to say which rain it, it does, because we're only doing that if we cast the spell. Uh, no, I didn't get to give the spell to the player, so let's grab it from the console. So we'll just do help make it rain. There's the spell, so we'll do player add spell, because this is just for testing. We don't need to get this to other folks. We could keep it in here and let other folks get it from the console or something, but we're not going to make like a spell to him. And go to conjuration. It's not saying the form ID because notifications. Um, uh, notifications uh, cut off these angle bracket thingies. So let's say get form ID. Um, to, um, and then we'll make it rain. Um, rain now is true. We really want to force it right now, not to let it transition, because that's the whole point of us testing this like this. Cool. Now let's get the uh, spell. Help make it rain. Player add spell 5012C5. I want that add, so I want this. Looking for one that's not nice or something that we want to leave out. So far, so good. We'll keep this bell in here in case anyone wants to get it to do this. And they could make their own mod that uh, does whatever. They can attach to our uh, player script. They can find it and hook up to it. I think we're done. Uh, let me make this a repository. Uh, file new repository. Um, always rainy in Skyrim. Always rainy in Skyrim. Uh, Skyrim mod. Cool. We'll give it these things. We'll give it an MIT license. Cool. We'll open up wherever I put it. But that's not where I really want these files. I want to go into my mods folder where I have always raining in Skyrim and I want to move this stuff over and tell my GitHub that that's where I put stuff. So now I basically set this up as a repository. I can say uh, initial working uh, implementation. Uh, commit and I'll publish it and I'll make it public. Ta -da! And we could build it if we want to. Too. Uh, let's build it so that we can release it on GitHub and we can use the same build file on Nexus if we want to. Uh, so you should use Pyro for this is my recommendation. So at this point my Visual Studio Code setup actually is relevant. Because um, what I'm going to do is go into my Pyro. This is a Papyrus project file. Uh, this is a format that comes from Fallout 4 and I'm going to have it uh, package up my files um, we don't have to package it into a BSA if we don't want to, um, but I don't think people are going to call our scripts and whatever. So I'll zip it and I'll package our scripts into a BSA. I want to make sure that the scripts go into the BSA. Did I move the wrong thing? Yeah. 
cool. Let's change the name of the mod to Always Rainy in Skyrim. Oh, did I say zip equals zip? That's what happens when I like talk to the camera while doing things. Duh. Now if I look over here, we'll get we'll get a build directory in a second. And should I have our zip? So there's our build directory. Ta-da! Always rainy in Skyrim. Now if we go there, let's reveal it in the file explorer and go into our build folder and open it up. It's got our ESP and a BSA. Uh, we didn't make any new cells, so we can ESLify this. So let's open this up in SSE Edit. Tell SSE Edit to open up our mod, always rainy. And we'll run SSE Edit. And we could do that like a apply script thingy where it tells us um, if it's okay. That's always nice to do. Just have it tell us, yeah, it's okay for us to do this. Click on whatever mod. Uh, it's not going to let us click until it finishes building references. Even though it says it's done building reference info, it's going to start again in like three, two, there it goes, still building references. We can right click as soon as that is done. Cool, it finished. We can do, um, what is it? Um, apply script, find ESP plugins that could be turned into an ESL. It points out that rainy can be uh, by compacting forms first. Uh, so let's compact the forms. Uh, I think you can do that in SSE Edit. We'll do it in Creation Kit. Compact active file form IDs. Um, oops, we need a, a mod loaded. And these form IDs will just be for our spell and our quest. It's not going to affect the form IDs from those weather, the weather things from Skyrim. That would be terrible because all of our integers would be wrong. Uh, let's uh, compact the form IDs. Yep. Cool. Save. Close. SSE edit. Run. This should run almost instantly because it saved a cache. So the background thing should be done in like immediately. I can already click, apply script, find ESP plugins that could be turned into ESL. Cool, it says that is good. It says that it's good to go. Uh, we'll go to the file header. We'll edit this and add the uh, ESL flag. Okay, we'll save it. Without backups, we don't need any backups. Done saving. Go here and let me um, uh, say ESL if I. Cool, that's it for that. Um, it's ESL if I. Um, let's rebuild it. So here I am in my mods, always raining in Skyrim. Let's get rid of that build folder and just build it again. Again, this is using Pyro. I just happen to be using it from the Joel Day's Visual Studio Code extension, which has Pyro built in, um, although I upgraded the version of Pyro. Um, there's a build folder. Look in here. And now this one should be ESA uh, flagged. We can check that out if we want to. Hold on, there's some sirens passing. All right, I meant to say ESL flagged, duh. All right, so here's what I recommend we do. Um, I close out all the things. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, I'm going to move Always Rainy and Skyrim outside of my main mod folder. So if I go here in Mod Organizer, uh, it disappeared. So we can't run it. Um, I'm going to install it from that file. Um, so I'm going to uh, common mods, the place that I put stuff that I'm not actively working on for screencast, build. And this is uh, simulating the experience that Nexus mods or GitHub mod downloaders would experience. So let's turn it on. No SKSE. Uh, let's run SSE edit just to see. Um, uh, I don't really want it to edit anything, but 
Uh, we're not going to edit anything, but I want to see if it's ESL flagged showing up. Cool, it already shows up that it's ESL flagged. That's all I wanted to see. Now let's run it in Skyrim. Um, now that spell ID is probably different. Let's make sure that we can save and go back in and it'll rain as well. And maybe sleep. Cool. Let's get the spell. Help uh, make it rain. Player. Ooh, that's a totally different spell ID. Add spell. Uh, Effie. O O O eight oh one. Uh, F E. Cool. We can make it rain. I wish you could have cells in that uh, ESL for this. Cool. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to F5 uh, save. I should save. Uh, F9 both save. <laughs> That's super rain. I'm going to click on that one. In that oh, guys. Oh. Oh, God. I kind of want to keep this going. Um, I don't know which one this is. Sweet. I got my desktop audio out of there, so it's probably pretty loud, too. Um, for a long time sleep. For like a day. For a long time. I would say we need to trigger this maybe on, like, after sleep, but because we have that on update that's running every uh, couple minutes, it may or may not tackle that for us. Okay, let's try and sleep one more time. But we can see the weather changing in the background while we sleep, which is pretty dope. I guess when you sleep, it does kick off the uh, on update. Ooh, except it's, is that rain? It's not rain. Now if we save and we load, we should get rain. But what we need to do is an after sleep. Now it's drizzling. Uh, so it doesn't work. <laughs> we uh, we found a bug. Uh, we're going to remove that mod, and I'm going to pull in uh, the actual one that we were working on. Refresh. Here we go. Um, and uh, I'm going to open up the code again. So you can go to CK and right click on uh, those effects. We're going to the player script so that we can handle the sleep event. Uh, I think if we go to events, uh, I'll show you how to get there, uh, creationkit.com, click on the left for Skyrim, then go to scripting reference in the lab, scripting reference, and then scroll down to subcategories, and there's this thing called events. Boop. It's, it's great. And I'm just going to search for sleep. On sleep start, on sleep stop. It's cool. Called when the player wakes up. Um, sweet. So let's go to our player script. And that's where we have our, when the mod gets installed and the player gets set up for the first time, we set up, uh, which makes it rain. Um, then we, um, let's call this setup and start. Setup and start raining. It's a little bit more clear. Uh, when they load the game, it also makes sure that it starts raining. But let's event, I'm really glad we tried sleep. Uh, on sleep stop, or was it end? What was it? On sleep stop, rule whether it was interrupted or not. We have two R's. Uh, do we need to do the setup? Um, we, we might not need to um, like make the array again because it's probably already set, but it's fine if we do. It doesn't hurt us. Uh, set up rainy weather's array. Save. Uh, this time when I build, it's going to also update that build folder. I'm just going to delete the build folder. If <laughs> it'll let me delete my own build folder. Screen just went white because Windows asked me if it was okay to delete stuff. Um, cool, and I'm going to rerun this so that the build folder gets created again. Sweet. Now we have a new version of our mod. Uh, I'm going over to our mods. I'm going to put my folder that I'm actively working on the mod away. 
I'm going back to Mod Organizer 2. If I refresh this, it's gone. Let's install a mod again from a file. That's the file. Um, oops. 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 And so we installed it from that zip file. Let me also update the code. I moved it into here. And uh, I don't need the project file or this or the zip file, but I'll say uh, updated to force raining after sleep stops. After awaking from sleep. I'll push that up to the public GitHub. Um, let's kick off the game. And I'll try and sleep again. I'm really glad we tried that. Really glad we tried that. We know the spell works. We don't have to use the spell. Um, so let's just try sleeping for 12 hours, like three times or something. It's raining, so I'm allowed to drink my tea. Now it could be weird if uh, if you're sleeping outside and you see that all of a sudden it becomes like super duper daylight. Like 12 hours is going to take us to 8 a.m. And you can see from the sleep menu that it looks really nice. Um, I think there's an event. See now it stopped raining. It stopped raining. But then it's all of a sudden. I was going to say all of a sudden it's going to start raining. What's the deal, yo yo? What is the deal? What did we do wrong? Did we compile on everything? And it is called on sleep stop, right? And we have a player that it's attached to. Alias script. That should work with a reference alias. This event is not related to any aliases or magic effects attached to the form. You can register for sleep and unregister for sleep. Oh. If it's registered it for it. So we're going to register for a sleep event. Once again, I'm really glad we tried that. So during setup, um, we'll say um, unregister for sleep event, register for sleep event. This is a way to do it because we may have already registered for it and uh, the game may have it set up like that. Build, wrote the zip file, close, again make it like we're testing the real thing. Uh, that's gone. I'm going to install a mod from a file. I'm gonna run um, and run it. It should rain, so I should be able to drink my tea. That's what I said. Um, now the last time what happened was um, we slept for 12 hours until 8 p.m. And it was still raining. Let's see if it stops now. Can't tell if it's raining. It's still raining. And then we slept until 8 a.m. and it stopped. So if it's kind of deterministic, if it does something similar to last time, it will stop raining towards the morning. But then it should be forced to start as soon as we wake up. Let's do 
should like a debug message box. And first of all, I'll remove this and we'll run our actual run, our actual mod. And when we wake up from sleep, um, let's um, let's do a debug message box. Now there's a chance that when the sleep stops, you lose your registration. We're awake. Save, build. Let's run it normally. Turn it on from its directory that it's installed in. And now as soon as we sleep, we can just sleep for an hour and sleep for an hour and sleep for an hour. And it should pull up that dialog box if it's uh, registered. Okay, let's sleep for an hour. Sleep for an hour. When he wakes up, that's douchey. Okay, when the quest stops, it'll automatically get unregistered, but that's fine. Okay, active magic effects will unregister. But we're on a forum, we're on an alias specifically, we're on a reference alias. So I can't think of why this wouldn't work on a reference alias. Let's just make sure that we've got the right gosh darn event. Yeah, I mean, it's right there. We register when you start the mod. We also register when you load a game. Let me take a look see. So we're not we're not sleeping. We're waiting. We're waiting. We we didn't go to sleep. So the, the player sleep event isn't gonna trigger. There's no event. There's no event for waiting. Why did they not make an event for waiting? Why would they not make an event for waiting? So the best that we can do is uh, capture when that menu actually comes up and goes away. It's crazy. It's crazy. Cheapers creepers. Um, we could just keep it raining while that goes though, which will be cool. Um, so let us do this. Here's all the things I tried to register for sleep. Um, uh, we'll, we'll make sure sleep works. This should have worked probably the whole time. When it stops, when you stop sleeping, um, set up the brain again. That probably works. Uh, we need to know when the, uh, and we can add that unregister back too. Yeah, I'll do a uh, function. Subscribe to Let's do a bunch of events together. Does it say sleep events though? And function subscribe to wait events. It's just an event. So here's what we do. Subscribe to the sleep event. Subscribe to the wait event. So whenever uh, you stop sleeping or whatever, um, it'll do those subscriptions, but it'll also, um, uh, it, it'll reset all the things basically. 
So, subscribe to Wait Event. What we do is we um, register for menu, I think. What is that? I've used it before. Oh, we might need SKSE for this. It's really annoying. We could say that uh, it works without SKSE, but not wait. That's what we could tell folks. Um, thank you, CPU on Lover's Lab, for examples. Um, I love that website. Lots of really helpful people for papyrus scripting. Um, on menu open, it looks like I've searched for it before, because I've used it a lot. Used it a lot. Yeah, it's SKSE. Wah, 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 wah. Let me turn on SKSE for my uh, setup. Turn it on. Let me close and reopen up code. It always loads up faster. Uh, so now I should be able to say uh, register for menu. And I think it's um, someone posted it and they're awesome for it. Wait menu. String sleep wait menu name equals that. Cool. We'll register for the sleep wait menu. Cool. And now we need some events. All of our events above. A little bit of consistency helps now and then. And we'll do uh, event on menu close string menu name. Uh, if the menu name that closed is is the uh, sleep wait menu, which kind of has to be because it's the only one we subscribe for. But it's it's good and conventional as a check. Um, then we will set up rainy weather's array. And now what we could do is on menu open I was going to say on menu open we'll start um, update our timer to uh, make it rain every couple seconds instead of every couple minutes so that when you're waiting you can see that but when you open up the menu you're not necessarily hitting the button we could register for them to press the button uh, but I think you can use the mouse key to start as well so let's just do it on menu close so it'll be a little bit abrupt when uh, you stop waiting, it could go from nice, sunny to rainy. But um, do we unregister register? Cool. Now, this might be an anti pattern, but um, it's worked and it, it's helped for me. So now we have to run it with SKSE. Um, although without SKSE, it should be fine except for the wait event. It shouldn't blow up. If it's raining like it's supposed to, we'll wait. We'll wait 12 hours. It'll probably keep raining, but then if we wait 12 more hours, it might stop because it's gonna become uh, 8 a.m. Maybe we could sleep in until 10 a.m. It's still raining here. Let's sleep in until 10 a.m. Give it an opportunity to um, change the weather in the morning to something nice. 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. It's looking nice.
said on menu close. Yeah, I've used it before. They say it's the separate menu, which it should be because there's a list of them. I've used this a bunch. And we, we did run it with SKSE, right? We did. We did run it with SKSE. that message box closed menu and menu in he calls right menu event but it's good enough See if we get that debug box. Uh, we shouldn't even have to wait. It should uh, should be able to open up the wait menu and close, and we should get that because it's registering for the menu. Open, close. Cool. All right, so we're getting that trigger. You know what? Um, we're not forcing it after wait, and we might have to force it to start. So after wait, um, we'll set up raining. Um, we are forcing it. This isn't what we want on, on menu close. We want to make it rain. On sleep stop, we want to make it rain. And in both of these cases, we want rain now to be true. We didn't want to rerun the setup. That's silly. Feeling good. I'm feeling good about this. 55 minutes, almost 56 minutes. I want it to be well under an hour, but what you can do? Learning the stuff. Making it rain. Rain. And we should test sleep. sleep for like 24 hours. Hey puppy dog. Good dog, you okay? Come here. Pray for it to not be raining. Come on baby. Come here. Baby dog. Cool and it started raining. Go to the afternoon, let it get nice. It's not really getting nice. But we could see it triggered because it actually switched the type of rain. See, whenever we uh, wake up from a wake, it's triggering. It's automatically making it go. And then we could see a seed like Drift in or whatever, and just try sleeping. Heed my words. Heed my words. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, what do you want? You got the. This is about the meeting. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Come back and see us again. The signs that lead you to the use a drink. Go inside and sleep. Make sure it's still the case. Blessings of Mara upon you. Raining. This last thing we'll test. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. Currently more. More. We know. We know. We all know. Whoops. Sleep away longer. And the one Running other thing I might test is uh, I don't know if I'm. Um, Wait for me, I don't want to drink these. New rum? You looking for something or what? <laughs> Check that. Uh, now let's go to like Valkyrie Exterior. The one. Let's go to a different place in the map. We might need an after pass. Oh, this one's full. Sissy, let's go somewhere else. Windhelm. 
handle her all. How can Elda hate the Dark Elves when she knows so little side. about them? Hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. Okay. I tell you, I Let's tell you, the dragon dragon comes. Let's check on Windhelm. So we're hopping all across the map. It looks like it's still doing that. And if we do this, it's going to change its type of range. And switches to drizzles. But, which is a little bit weird, but hey, it's always raining. Um, it's totally always raining. And uh, if we were to go to our thing and we would build it, let's turn zipping and packaging back on, build it. Move this out of our mod folder. Just angry about because I have things open and apps. Refresh. It's not there. And um, everything should refine and not break without SKSE. Build. Build. Cool. We hit an hour, which is a bummer. That's okay. This should rain. Make it rain. Make it rain. Uh, but waiting won't work. I don't feel like it's raining. I didn't turn it on. Nah. Cool, it's raining, and then the only thing is without SKSE, this won't work. Why are you blowing up, phone? So when the menu closes, it won't automatically force it because we can't use the on menu force, but uh, we probably get some papyrus log errors because we try and call some functions that don't exist because we don't have SKSE. Um, but other than that, it's fine. Uh, so if we do that, waiting is the only thing that you can really do to cause it to... Um, waiting without SKSE is the only thing you can do. We turn on SKSE, and this is with our build. We know it'll work. There's no reason to try it. I think we're good. I'm going to push this to GitHub. And um, let me push it up just because... And we'll just put this video on the page. And then if anybody wants to watch the video, they can watch the video. Let's do 24 hours again so that we can watch it work with SKSE. Our hero, our hero, the warrior's heart. Mm, tea. Always be raining and staring. So the weather should go nice. Nice. But then it changes. Wait. Then it changes. Wait. And then it changes. So actually, people don't need that spell if they want to change it. They can just um, do the wait thing. And uh, that could annoy people, but whatever. I made this because I think it's interesting and uh, I wanted. I make mods all the time and I want it to be raining because um, I love it when it's raining. Locate this in uh, my common mods. That's the wrong mod. We're gonna upload it. Upload it to GitHub. Uh, make waiting work um, requires SKSE. And we tried sleeping. Cool, cool. If I go to GitHub, which I got right here, I could go to releases, make a new release. Do one. Um, it always rains in Skyrim. Mojipedia. Do I have this installed? Moji um, rain. Do I hit enter? Does that work? 
always raining and now we can just drag and drop our build this is how you do it on github if you've never done it before Boop. and we released a mod on github da, 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 da. and people can go right here to releases and uh, if we were to put it on nexus uh, i put the link right here um i'll do it i'll post it up in like a week or two um, along with this screencast in a new playlist that I'm going to call mini mods, mini mods, individual mods that we make in under like two hours. I'm going to shoot for under an hour, but we run into bugs and it's hard. We can't, I'm not perfect. Hey, maybe you could make it always rain in Skyrim faster. Congratulations. Took me over an hour, but I learned a lot of things. Now I'm going to drink my tea while it rains in Skyam. Thank you and happy modding everyone. Alright, see you soon.